Hi guys, welcome back to Making Magical Adventures. In today's video, we're gonna show you all the things you should do on your first Disneyland trip, so stay tuned. All right guys, so right behind us is City Hall and something pretty magical that you can get on your first trip for free. You'll go right outside the City Hall, which is to the left side of the entrance of the park, and you can pick up free buttons. So obviously you need the first time visit. Cast members are really awesome about acknowledging the fact that it's your first time. Sometimes they give you some really cool tips on what you should do on your first visit. And not only do they have first visit, but if you're celebrating um, your anniversary or that you're newly married, you can get a first visit pin and you can get a newlywed um, pin. You could also do a just graduated. So there's all kinds of things that you can inquire at that booth. So just take a look and pick out your favorite ones. Okay, so the next tip here at the Disneyland Resort is getting yourself a locker. Now, a locker really helps out your day at the park. That's just like if you have a bunch of stuff. Even if you're with kids and you end up buying stuff, this is a place that you can come put it. And per day, I'll show you inside how it kind of works. And you can choose your locker size, stuff like that. It's actually super simple, but it actually makes your day at the park super, super convenient. So I highly recommend getting one. If, you know, if you're gonna be here all day, this is only good for the day. So ensure that you take all of your stuff out once you finish up with the day. And it's super convenient, so you don't have to have all your stuff in a stroller or you don't have to be carrying it. So I highly recommend getting a Disneyland locker. Okay, so when you come inside, there'll be the lock rental thing right here, and it's this touch screen to start, so you just touch it. <laughs> And then again, right here, so a standard is gonna fit about one backpack. So usually when we do it, we just get the large because it's a bigger space. So as you can see, it's only seven and $10. And the space of the lockers is very convenient and it works perfect. Okay, so you can see behind me, these are the normal size lockers, right? So again, it fits like one backpack. But if you come over here, so as you can tell, they're a little bit bigger. And again, these are the most convenient for three more dollars. You can't go wrong. You have it all day long. And again, basically when a locker is available, it'll look green. And then when you do buy it, it'll tell you exactly which locker it is and your code. So make sure you take a picture of that and save it so that way you can keep coming back to your locker throughout the entire day. All right guys, another important tip here, you're gonna be wanting to take a lot of pictures throughout the whole day. Your phone battery might die, your cameras might die. So another good tip is they do have these portable chargers here. Um, now a really cool thing is you can buy a battery for the day so let me just go through here. You can buy one, two, or three. So if your battery juice has gone out, another cool tip is you can come back to this fuel rod station here and you can actually swap it out. And you would insert the fuel rod and it'll administer a new one to you. That way you can use it throughout the park. So I guess the convenience factor is you can do one and just keep swapping it out, but it would be a lot of trips to the station. Or you could just do two and have it for the whole entire trip. So you pick and choose how you want to go about your day with using your portable charger. All right guys, so we're right inside the Emporium here on Main Street. You can get a lot of your merchandise shopping done in here. What we highly recommend is to do your shopping towards the end of the day. That way you're not lugging around stuff. But if you do see a piece of merchandise that you really, really want, make sure you get it first thing so it doesn't disappear on you. That's where that locker tip comes in really handy. You can buy your merchandise and just store it away and enjoy your time at the park. Definitely check out the Emporium for all your really neat merchandise. Also inside the Emporium, you can get yourself a wide range of different pins. So with these pins throughout your day at the park, there's actually different pin trading posts that you can actually trade with some of the cast members. So these are a really good thing to get, kind of get started. Also show you over here, these are like packs. So if like you, you buy, end up buying a pin and you actually really like the pin, keep it, just do a pack like this and you can kind of trade those. So it's totally depending on, on like what you want, your style. But yeah, for me, I like collecting at least one pin every time we come. So. Let's see what they have. All right guys, so one of the snacks that you absolutely have to get is a Disneyland churro. It's not too expensive and it's a good little treat just to, you know, fill you in between rides. So this is always number one on our Disneyland trip. Okay, another absolute staple you have to get, a lot of people talk about it, is the Disneyland popcorn. So it's actually really delicious and it comes in all types of varieties sometimes. So make sure you get it. It's just a staple that adds to your uh, entire trip and why not end it with a bite? As another big tip on Disneyland is ensuring that you get to the parks early, right? So if the park opens at eight, just try and leave your place, be here around seven, 7.30. So that gets you in line and getting ready to get inside. Um, having that extra little bit before, let's just say like 10 a.m. or 11 a.m., it really does a lot of damage for your trip. So you can get a lot of rides done already during that time. You can just kind of have the park a little bit more open for yourself. And again, taking a picture in front of the castle is very iconic. So it can have long wait times if you don't just do it like first thing in the morning 
morning. That's yeah. one thing that we do, right? Like yeah. just doing it so, right away. So um, initially when we get here early, our first ride um, before this next one that I'm gonna name, our first ride that we always do is Peter Pan because it has the longest wait time for yeah. whatever reason. So we always do Peter Pan. The new ride to look out for first thing in the morning would probably be Rise of the Resistance. Yep. So you can pick between the two if you want to be in Fantasyland or in Galaxy's Edge, but just keep that in mind. Those are the absolute two that have the longest waiting period. So make sure you get here early if you want to ensure that you can get on the ride and then you can enjoy the rest of the day. Yeah, yeah. And that's because like most of you like want to come here, you want to do a lot of rides, or you want to do a lot of fun rides, and the wait times can be really long. So again, like she said, prioritize kind of your trip, prioritize the rides you want to go on, and that will make your day so much smoother because then you can knock those things out and you don't have to really worry about, you know, seeing if you can fit it in your trip. It's just like you knock it out right away and you can be on with your day yes. and just kind of relax. And know? on that note, something new that Disney came up with was the Disney Genie. Um, so just keep that in mind. It's kind of something to replace like the fast pass, yeah. I want to say, right? Yep. Um, but there are additional fees for the premium rides like Rise. So keep that in mind. Just do a little bit of research. But if you want to ensure that for sure you're going to get on these rides while you're here on your trip, look into Disney Genie. All right, so let's get on to the next tips. Another thing, if it's your first time here at Disneyland, you're gonna have to see a parade. There's multiple parades that usually happen, and around the holidays, there's also really unique parades that are exclusively for that event. So it's always a great time. So make sure when you're here, next time you check out a parade. <laughs> All right, an absolute must at the park is a mint julep and a Mickey-shaped beignet covered in powdered sugar. They're extremely messy, so be aware. And don't inhale the powder when you go to sniff it. And you have to be careful when you shake it up and you open it up right away because the powder's still flying up in the air. And you can find these delicious treats at the New Orleans Square. We've made the mint julep and we paired it with a gumbo dish and we've also made Mickey beignets. So we'll go ahead and link them right up above. So let's dig in. All right, the first sip is always the best, right? Mm. So refreshing, it's so good. All right, so these beignets are absolutely fantastic. Yes. All right, first bite. Delicious. What would you rate these? 10 out of 10 every time. Perfect. Okay, so another thing that you have to do for your first visit at the Disneyland Resort is go on It's a Small World. So it's one of our absolutely favorite rides. And now that's what we're gonna do right now. We're gonna go ahead and get on, but we do have a video that I'm gonna link up above and then you can check it out. So right now it's still geared towards the Christmas holiday. So um, there's really cool features. We're gonna have to wear a face mask, but when we rode it the last time, there was hints of cinnamon, there was hints of like peppermint. So there's all these extra things. So hopefully we can still get that magic, even though their face mask right. gone. Right. <laughs> So yeah, for your first visit, you guys got to go on into Small World. It's super relaxing, especially on a hot day. Like oh, you just yeah. sit in there, you got the AC, you're in there for about 10 minutes, mm -hmm. and it's an absolute blast. So yeah. give it a shot. We don't mind the music, so it's good for us. Right, so give it a shot on your next trip. Okay, so another must-have at the Disneyland Resort is a Dole Whip. You can find these at Tropical Highway or the Tiki Juice Bar. And at the Tiki Juice Bar, you can mobile order, but Nicole and I, every single time when we do come here, this is an absolute staple. So I highly recommend all of you guys try it. Let's take the first bite. Always delicious. Okay, another great thing if you want to follow us, you can meet the characters right here on Main Street. So we're going to go introduce Raylani to them. Okay guys, so one of my most favorite parts about Disneyland is getting on the Disneyland Railroad train. So it's just super peaceful, super relaxing, and it gives you a chance to see the whole entire park all the way through. So guys, for your first visit, this is definitely a place you need to go. All right guys, so our day is starting to come to an end here. Um, our last tip is to just sit down on a bench and park yourself and just people watch. Enjoy the crowds and honestly just truly soak in everything that's happening. You know, the whole day can get a little frustrating sometimes. You and know, it can fly right past it you It flies too. right past you, but you know, you're trying to get onto your rides, you're trying to get food, mm -hmm. it's crowded. You know, there's all these things that come up. So just truly take a minute to sit down and enjoy the happiest place on earth. And the best part too is here on Main Street, you can just sit back, see the castle, mm -hmm. just watch people. It's honestly one of the most peaceful things here at Disneyland. And if you find yourself a good spot like we have right here, you can see everything. The castle's right in front of you. There's also porches that you can sit down on. And again, people watch. So guys, 
Don't let the day fly past you and just enjoy your time here at Disneyland. That's number one. And with that being said, guys, the last little tip I want to throw in because I forgot to throw it in earlier is bring a water bottle. So an empty water bottle, you could fill it up in the parks. So that way you're not having to buy one. But if you do forget, then you know you could purchase one. But again, you could refill your bottles around the park and we'll make more videos with more tips and tricks on how to get around Disney. So guys, thank you so much for watching. Guys, let us know down in the comment section down below what some tips or your favorite thing to do at Disneyland is. So we appreciate you guys watching. Guys, if you did like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Guys, subscribe to the channel if you're not subscribed. Hit the bell for notifications so you can get notified when we do drop a new video. And like we always say, may you always have a magical adventure. We'll see you in the next video, guys. Bye. Bye.